Hello for bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester, and today I won't be doing a book review. I will be talking about the issue of microplastics. I'm sure you've heard of plastics in the ocean, and perhaps you've even heard of microplastics. So you might just skip over the video and not watch it at all. However, did you know that scientists are developing a microorganism that consumes plastic? Did you know microplastics are carriers of other toxic substances? Chances are, you might not have heard of this. So lay back, relax, and let's start. For people who don't know about microplastics, let's start with the basics first. Microplastics are small pieces of plastic that are less than 5 millimeters in length. These tiny pieces of plastics end up in rivers and oceans which in turn ends up in aquatic ecosystems, slowly making its way up to the food chain to reach us. These can have negative effects on our health such as becoming the reason for cancer, creating reproductive issues, and etc. As you've got to know the basics of microplastics, now let's move on to some things that you may not know about. Microplastics can be carriers for heavy metals and other harmful substances. For example, lead is a very common toxic metal that can be found stuck to pieces of plastic. Consuming lead can cause many health problems such as high blood pressure, kidney malfunction, mental problems, and possibly death. Since heavy metals are heavy, they usually sink to deeper waters. However, if they stick to microplastics, which float and move with the currents, it is possible for these heavy metals to move to other areas in the sea with ease. How much of this stuff exists exactly? Well, there are 8 million metric tons of plastic that are produced every year and 5 trillion plastic particles in the ocean today. Here is a graph that shows the growth of microplastics in the eastern tropical Pacific Ocean. As you can see, the amount of microplastics in the sea has been steadily increasing. However, the problem is not yet a lost cause. Professor McGeehan, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, and his team accidentally discovered a bacteria which breaks down plastic back in 2016. The name of this bacteria is Idionella psychiasis and can make plastics endlessly reusable. The breaking down of plastic usually takes hundreds of years, and this bacteria can shorten this process only to a couple of days. Even more recently, Japanese scientists have discovered a new strand of this virus that does this job six times faster than the ones that we have found in 2016. Theoretically, if these bacteria are genetically modified, so that they move in masses and get rid of the plastic in water, it would be the most effective solution to clear the oceans of plastic. Using such a microorganism in order to clear the ocean has been done before, especially when back a couple years ago when a huge oil spill occurred, a microorganism was deployed into the water to clear the oceans. However, we cannot simply wait until scientists develop a plausible solution for microplastics within the sea. At the very least, we can minimize the amount of plastic being exposed to the environment. We can do this by trying our best to avoid using plastic if possible. This includes plastic cups, utensils, bags, and etc. Of course, you've probably already heard all this before. However, we believe that this action done by many can leave a huge impact. Thank you so much for watching, and me and my friends made this video in order to raise awareness, and there will be a link below to donate to Greenpeace, which is one of the leading organizations which clears the oceans, even though, as I said, it is probably not as effective as literally having a type of bacteria that eats plastic in the ocean, they are doing their best, so definitely if you have the money, go donate, I will myself probably donate at least a little bit of money. And like always, your Buckquester and Buckquester. Thank you so much for watching. And please le leave good comments about my friends because my friends are awesome. And goodbye.